future. Now, everyone loves teardowns on the EV blog and I've got something special. Let's check it out. Woohoo! You might have seen this on a previous video, which I'll link in down below, where I did the Channel 7 uh, TV transmitter teardown. This is the 300 watt amplifier that transmitted the analog TV signal in Sydney for about 20 years. This one, uh, 300 watts, as I said, this one was the pre-amplifier a 300 watt preamplifier for the video signal and also to use the same one might have even been this one for the audio so the audio went out at 300 watts the video went out at several hundred kilowatts it's got a phase shift um, input here so that you can parallel these things up and tweak them for the same phase so that they uh, load equally but there's just an input output and uh, overload indicator so let's take a look inside this baby and yes we have the schematics you're ready for it Oh yeah, the RF aficionados are wet in their pants right now. Look at this thing. Oh, oh I have to do a de detailed teardown. This will be very short, but look at all the rigid coax uh, lines here. Look at that little stargates inside. Look, look, little rigid coax penetrators. Here's the power supply. It operates off 28 volts um, DC system supply. And let's take a look at the uh, topology used in this thing shall we and I'll take you briefly through oh by the way I do have the schematic I'll link it in down below for those playing along at home now um, the input signal comes in down here and it goes into a limiter circuit because you don't want some dickhead uh, feeding in some input signal that then blows up your amplifier and a, you know a couple of million people in Sydney can't watch their TV signal so it just clips and limits the input uh, signal so it doesn't damage anything else and there's the phase adjust now it goes into a circulator which I'll uh, explain shortly and then there's a couple of pre-amplifier uh, transistors over here and then that leads up into another uh, circulator which then uh, goes into two circulators uh, which basically split the signal out like this into two separate channels so there's actually two power amplifiers in here two complete separate stages like this i believe they do this for redundancy um, so that if one blows the other one still goes and they can't affect each other it recombines in a circulator and then comes out down here that's tapped off for an overload indicator display like that beautiful now I promised to briefly mention circulators so let's give that a go let's have a look at these circulators down here what a circulator does it's a passive device it uses ferrites and it basically um, it does uh, RF power protection so it basically circulates the power through to a dummy load here so if some idiot shorts the output of the antenna here then what it will do is automatically dump all the energy into the load like this the load is internal uh well no that might be external but it uh it dumps it into the load instead of blowing up your transistors over here very very nice and you can probably see the power resistor is going to be under there near the output circulators for combining there you go that is very very nice bit of kit and i'll have to do a more detailed teardown on that so i hope you enjoyed that